this video I'm giving you a project on JavaScript and React.js. I'm going straight into the point without any edits or fancy animation here on this video because all I want to do is just give you some value. And this is a project built on JavaScript programming language and React.js. So if you don't know about React.js, this is basically a front-end framework that you can use to build websites uh, front-end. And also in this project, I use uh, too many other frameworks like Redux or Firebase. And I'll introduce you first what is this project about. So I think you know about the SMM panel, which is a service or a platform that you can do different services about marketing and social media. Like you can add followers for TikTok, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, YouTube, views, likes, uh, reactions, and a lot of different services that you just pay for them. And you just go ahead and order here and they are going to be delivered very fast with very cheap prices. As you can see, just point uh, seventy five cents, uh, 90 cents, uh, or maybe one dollar, one dot or one or two dollars. So these are very, very cheap prices. And what I was thinking about, like, why if I don't build a website like this using React.js and just use their API, which is here, they add, and it's open source API that you can use and you can deliver orders, you can charge directly using your account and you can charge people and uh, deliver different services like followers, likes, and all the services that they have in their website. So I was thinking like using their API to build my uh, website where I could just push a request using this API and then directly make the charge from my account and then I can charge people more. So for example, if uh, here on the SMM panel, if I go to uh, Instagram, Instagram, followers and as you can see uh, I can send out with 1.1 $1 $1, 1000 followers but if I build my website and I can just uh, double this price or triple or do my price and then I can send the same amount using a SMM panel but actually I'm charging more money for uh, from the clients and yes, I built a website using this one year ago using JavaScript and React.js. And this is here. An example is hosted online, SMM pan, smmalbania.online. And you can just go ahead and check it out. It's very, very simple. I haven't finished this project yet. I just built it for fun and see how this works and also learn some JavaScript. I can log in or I can, or I can register here. If I click register, just email, password and username and click on a login. This is actually on my language. If I click on login here, and it will redirect me on this page. And uh, actually, it looks a little bit same as SMM panel, if you can see from here. But I also included an option here on top, which is going to for showing all of the services. And if I click on this turn on, and as you can see, it directly changes to this layout, where you can see all the services just like uh, SMM panel here. But if you don't want that, or you want just some services, I included here two services for Instagram and TikTok, but you can put any services that you want. These are just just Instagram service, Instagram likes or followers. And then if I click in here, it just requires me to put the link of the profile and just put the amount here. And also it shows your price directly changing and just you can just confirm and it will directly uh, add you as an order. And you can see all the orders here in my uh, in this link here. This is my language actually. This means that my orders, this is add balance and this is also all the services listed. In my uh, orders here, I can see uh, real time orders and it will show you the order ID, the orders, the ID of the service, the link that you put. I just put some example links here just for testing my platform. And also this is the amount, the left amount, the status, and also the the payment made, like uh, if I paid, for example, $1.001 and uh, just for some amount for 20 followers for Instagram on this link. This is also the date that is created. We'll show you real time. We have other links like add balance. You can directly add balance. I put a drop down here where you can choose the payment method. For now, just made with PayPal because it's free and is you can test around with the sandbox API test as a developer and you can put the amount that you want for example ten dollars or twenty dollars and it will directly show you the link and you can just go ahead and you will pay directly on your account but I will not do it for now just to show you so here it will also list all the payments that you made on the previous day as you can see it also showed the messages interaction with the user and here is just meaning that the payment that I just tried to do is cancelled because I cancel it now and I can click OK it will close it here nav bar this means welcome and the name of the user and here is the balance logout 
and all list all the services very small example but you can edit further if you want or you just can leave it like this and uh, use it for yourself so i'll show you today how to get this code how to set up a new computer and how to start developing the same project and use it for anything you want let's go ahead and do that now first you have to go to this link here it is a repository of the project that i i coded about you know, one year ago and you can see here the demo image and everything so to do that you just go click on code and click on copy here and i'll use git make sure to have git to clone this project and i'll open terminal and uh, inside here on terminal i'll just go inside the desktop first cd desktop and i'll clone this project with git clone i'm going fast because i'm supposing that you are a developer and you just need this uh, quick code uh, to use for your projects and for anything that you have in your work or just for fun cloning i'll go inside using a cd smm panel and here i should have my project i'll use vs code to open so to open vs code just click on code dot and then it will open directly the code on VS Code. Here you are the list of all the files, and I'll show you how to set up now. If you don't use code dot, you can just click on file and open folder, and it will open here on VS Code. So here I have all the files, and I'll show you now how to do that. So first I'll open terminal, new terminal, and you have to make sure you have some uh, dependencies first installed. And go to the browser, and you have to install first Node.js, and you can go in this link, Node.js, or search on Google Node to download, install for your operating system and make sure to have it here. If I go in a terminal, you can check if you have uh, correctly installed by using Node-V and also npm npm dash v if they both show the versions like this it's okay and you have successfully installed node.js then after doing that it will install yarn because i will use yarn and not npm so to uh, install a yarn go to this other link and you can find all these links in the description of this video here through my website and here is npm install dash global yarn will install globally yarn and if i do paste it here npm i uh, npm install dash global yarn it will install yarn globally and just press enter on this command but i'll not do it because i have already installed and just to check if you have a successful install just uh, type this command yarn dash v and it'll show you the version too so now we are okay and what we can do is to go ahead and install dependencies of this project so to install dependencies using yarn what you have to do is just to type yarn and press enter and this will collect all the dependencies, download them, and install directly on your computer. As you can see, a node modules folder is created with all the dependencies that are being installed now. So I'll wait for this installation to be finished and we'll get back. So now it is done and everything is installed. Before starting our development service and show you the project, uh, I'll introduce you some things that you have to set up first. And as you can see, is a .env.local.example file. What you have to do is to put some API keys here. And before putting API keys, you have to rename this env.local and remove this .example because otherwise the project is not going to recognize this file. So then we have to put some API keys. And to get these API keys, first is PayPal Sandbox API, the second is API, PayPal API, and the SMM Panel API and Firebase API. So to get these APIs, just go to the browser and go first in the PayPal, PayPal for developers, just search on Google, make sure you have a PayPal de developer account and just go ahead and log in and you can click on get API credentials. So here is my developer dashboard here on PayPal and what you have to do to get the credentials is just to go ahead to this uh, link here, apps and credentials. You have to create a new app and then it will show you the credentials and the API key. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to show you my keys. It's very easy actually to do that. So here you have switch where it shows you sandbox or live sandbox it means that it's just for using it for testing and live is just for uh, directly getting live payments from users and if you turn on this live now it all the payments that you get from the a the credentials that you have created here the api key will be live and you'll get real money into your account so then after getting this api key you have to paste it here on just like this like the example api key like this but i'll paste mine after i explain you and we'll run the app then you have to get both of them api paypal api and sandbox api then you have to get the smm panel 
API. To get SMM panel API, go to smmpanel.net, register here, and you have to go to, to your account, click on account, and scroll down, and it will show you here API key. It, this is hidden now, but you have to click on generate new, and it will show you the new API key, and make sure to save it somewhere, or you can save it directly here on the project. And also we have Firebase API. Firebase is used for system authentication, for hosting, for database, and everything else. So to get the API key for Firebase, just go to console.firebase.google.com, you'll find the link also on description create a new project for your project and here is smm panel you just open it and you can go ahead uh, this is my project that i created before you have to make sure to turn on authentication and also turn on firebase database and also hosting if you want to use a firebase to host this platform then you have to click on this uh, settings icon here and go to project settings scroll down and here will show you the api key and also the project id or app id if you need that so if it's required for you just go ahead and copy both of them and put them in the file here after pasting all the files just click on save file and save and put and close the file because it's an environment file and it saves all the api and secret information that that we don't want to publicly show to others so i'll paste mine I'll save the file and I'll close it because I don't want you to see it. Okay, now after you save all the API keys that are needed, I'll explain a little bit first before uh, how the project works. So if you click on source and in components, you can see all the components. They are uh, very good ordered here. Like we have all the components for all services, for authentication, for navigator, new order, payments, or user orders, and everything that you need to know. For example, here on navigator, navigator.js is built using material UI, which is the framework of the Google, where it shows you all, you can use all the icons, buttons, and everything just like Google and also I'm using Redux. Redux is state management here as you can see we have read users and stores. I'm saving here the login information as user information services here on because the services don't change and everything that is not changing it will be saved on Redux as a, a public state and then uh, you can use it everywhere in your website and also you have users for using to log in to log out and also utils. Utils is saved for as something that I use for different like settings for example in this case here I save this information here if this is true or false like I'll show all services yes or no I save it using redux and if I go back to the service now I'll show you how to start this project and how to run it and use it for yourself so then to start it just type yarn start this will start the development server and it will basically show you the same as the smm albania dot online that i have hosted on that domain okay as you can see it is loading here on localhost 3000 and everything is working perfect like i have before so you have all the orders we have add balance and everything else just like smm albania.online that I have hosted here. I was actually wanted to use this for myself. I just giving you all this project for free. You have it open source on the GitHub. Just go ahead and make sure to fork this project and use it for yourself. And if you find any edits or you, any new release that you can do, you can just go ahead and test it out and uh, send a pull request. I will accept any, any edits that you are doing. This was a video for today. I'm just giving out the project for you. This is uh, something that is going to help you in giving out some value. Hope you like this video more. Programming content will come here on this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.